it has become what they call fall. It is no longer summer. We can no longer pretend that it's summer. Well, I can pretend that it's summer because I have not, like everyone else in the world, gone back to school this year, which is fantastic. But all the other rest of the signs around me, like the changing leaves and and the weather that likes to think that it's getting cooler but isn't really getting cooler, um, and all of those subtle signs, plus the fact that it's October-ish, kind of makes me start to think it's, you know, it's fall. Um, which, you know, a lot of people are sad. Oh, summer's coming to the end. It's getting cooler. I can't wear as nice clothes. All those late night parties that, you know, people tell me that they like to do, or those, you know, torrid summer love affairs that you hear about on TV, none of that's going to happen anymore. Well, except that it might, because for me, my summer's not going to end. I mean, I already said I'm not going back to school, but even more exciting than that, I'm heading halfway across the world in about a month where it's going to be summer again. I get to do it all over again, except this time I'm not going to have a job, which is going to be, you know, interesting because money. Um, but we don't really have to worry about that if we don't really want to worry about that. So I'm just going to go and summer and, you know, have a crazy love affair with the Kiwi because that's what you do in New Zealand. I do, by the way, mean a person, not a bird or a fruit. Love affairs with bird and fruit, not on my to-do list. Uh, yeah, so I have spent the last several months preparing for my exciting trip to New Zealand. Well, I'm starting in Australia, but then I'm going to New Zealand and I'm going to spend hopefully about six months there. And the whole point of these wonderful vlogs I've been doing is so that I can start video diarying it and let everyone know what I'm doing in New Zealand. And so I've prepared, I've done exciting things like, you know, shopping for backpacks and I have gotten clothes and I have gotten this wonderful tattoo on my foot. Which is wonderful and gorgeous and very Canadian. Um, so no one is going to mistake where I come from. I mean, that's not the only reason I got the tattoo. Well, I've been wanting it for a while because getting a permanent tattoo for the rest of your life so you can tell people you're Canadian for six months would have been a really stupid idea. Um, but it was good timing because now everyone's going to know I'm from Canada as long as I'm not wearing shoes or socks. Um, and yeah, it's super exciting and super nerve-wracking and I can't believe that I'm going to be leaving in a month which seems so far away and yet it's it's a month I'm, I'm gonna be leaving soon that's just kind of oh I have a lot to